Hello, my name is Custódio Peixeiro. I'm from Instituto de Telecomunicações and Instituto Superior Técnico, University of Lisbon. The topic of this module of the online course on micro strip antennas is arrays. Why do we need arrays? Well, we may need arrays just because we want to increase the gain. If you neglect the mutual coupling in a L element array, the array gain is simply n times the element gain. Or we may need arrays because we want to shape the radiation pattern. A single element has a fixed radiation pattern. We may want to shape the radiation pattern just by changing the direction of maximum radiation, beam steering, or by changing the shape of the beam shaping, of, or even both. The beam steering can be accomplished without any physical motion of the antenna. The antenna can be steered and shaped in real time, as in adaptive or smart antenna applications. What degrees of freedom do we have in array design? Well, several. Type of element, dipoles, loops, microstrip elements. Geometrical configuration, linear, circular, planar. Distance between elements, uniform, no uniform. Amplitude of the excitation of each element, uniform, binomial, Chebyshev. Phase of the excitation of each element, progressive, non-progressive. With all these degrees of freedom, there is a very large variety of possible array combinations used in personal, commercial and military applications. Macrostrip lines are the natural feeding method for macrostrip antenna arrays. We use the same photolithography fabrication process for the patches and the feeding lines. The macrostrip line feeding network can be printed in the same plane of the patches or in a different plane. A different plane can be used in the same side of the ground plane, as in buried feed, or in the opposite side of the ground plane, as in a perture coupled slot feeding. As we will see next, depending on the array geometry, several feeding network configurations can be used. Two types of on series feed can be used in line series feed and out-of-line series feed. There are also pure parallel feeding and a combination of series and parallel feeding. The design of the feeding network may be a complex task carried out to provide input matching and the required amplitude and phase distributions. Especially at high frequencies, Long feeding networks may lead to poor efficiency. In these cases, it is particularly important to choose low loss substrates. Impedance transformers and power dividers are key components in the feed network of an array, especially if it, is, if it has many elements. A quarter wavelength transformer, the name stems from the length of each section, that is a quarter of the effective wavelength, provide perfect impedance transformation if its characteristic impedance is the square root of the terminal impedances. It is very narrow band, except if several sections are used. The power dividers have to provide input matching and the required power distribution. Imposing these conditions lead to adequate characteristic impedance of the branches at the branches as the branches are in parallel the sum of the output branch characteristic admittance must equal the input branch characteristic admittance or the other on the other hand power division is inversely proportional to the characteristic impedance ratio the specific cases of two and three away power dividers are shown, but the working principle can be generalized to other number of output branches. 
A very important issue in array design is the mutual coupling, which is mostly caused by the surface waves guided by the air substrate interface. The mutual coupling is stronger for thick and high primitivity substrates. As we can see in the representative behavior shown in this figure, the mutual coupling is weaker for H-plane alignment and is always below minus 20 dB for inter-element spacing above a quarter of the free space wavelength. Let's take a look at a practical array example. It is an X-band uniform and equi equiface 4x4 element array with element spacing of 0 0.66 lambda 0. Six square patches are fed with aperture coupled rectangular slots. And the feeding network uses lines, sections, and Wilkinson power dividers. The array main characteristics are 21.1% bandwidth for a standing wave ratio less than 2. 45% total efficiency losses caused, losses caused by the Wilkinson, Wilkinson power divider that uses a ship resistor to absorb the power reflected at its outputs by the long feeding network and by bonding, fil by bonding film used to glue the several layers. Gain above 15.7 dBi in the whole bandwidth. Small dimensions. 90 by 19 by 2.5 mm cubic millimeter. Very low weight, 10.3 grams. The side lobe level is relatively high, about minus 11 dB, but that figure is normal for a uniform array. Goodbye.